Hi, I'm Donal O'Leary, Director for Commercial Services with Faithful & Gould, based in Dubai. My name is Ed Ofiele, I'm the Sector Commercial Director for Infrastructure here in Abu Dhabi. Hi, my name is Zoe Booth, I'm an HR Data Analyst working for Atkins in the Dubai office. Hello, I'm Bernadette Janicek, I'm a Senior Project Manager in the Infrastructure Business in Atkins in Abu Dhabi. Hi, my name is Chris Lucas, I'm a Project Manager for Faithful & Gould in Dubai. Hi, I'm Azar al Haq, Associate Director at Faithful & Gould Dubai. Hi there, I'm Stephen Batchelor, I'm the Operations Director for Faithful & Gould Abu Dhabi. I've always wanted to do some international work uh, outside of the UK. Uh, there was the opportunity to help the business uh, grow in the region uh, and it seemed a, a perfect time and a perfect place to come to. Abu Dhabi is a fabulous place to live. Um, it's the capital of the UAE. It's where all the money is. There's a lot of investment going on. There's fabulous projects and there's a great social scene. They actually did everything. Um, they moved all my stuff, they guided me through and uh, getting my certificates attested. Um, they sorted out my visa. Um, we were provided with some accommodation that was walking distance to the office um, whilst our visas were processed and this then gave us the opportunity to work out where we wanted to live, um, whether we wanted to be near to the office or near to the beach. Um, and so it, I think it was about a month that we had the company accommodation until we were on our feet. Faithful and Gould can help you transfer from the UK or elsewhere to the Middle East and Dubai, Abu Dhabi. Um, we'll arrange all your flights for your family, visas, um, transportation of all your goods and belongings. And we also help you settle, we'll find you accommodation when you first arrive. We've got two young children here now, so whilst the weather's nice, which it is for most of the year, we like to get out and about, so we go to lots of the beaches, the parks, um, and, and enjoy the time with them then. We see lots of international events, um, like the horse racing, and the tennis, and the Grand Prix, and the rugby, and all sorts of other events, but also you can get involved in all sorts of sporting clubs if you actually want to play sport yourself. I mean. Other, other things to do, there's football clubs, there's basketball clubs, cricket clubs, tennis facilities, kayaking through the mangroves, there's fabulous five-star hotels with great restaurants and numerous designer shops, so watch out for your budget. Camping in the desert, we love taking the family to the Hatta Mountains, it's great fun and there's great views as well. I'd say that it's uh, pina, pina coladas by the pool at four o'clock every day, which is, uh, which is not. <laughs> um, you know, it's hard work, but uh, you know, you work hard, but you play hard. So you do get the opportunity to enjoy the lifestyle at the weekend, but you know, you have, you have got to earn it a little bit during the week. Before I came out here, people used to say, oh, you come to Abu Dhabi, you cannot buy a beer, you cannot drink, you cannot... Um cannot go out, there's no uh, nightclubs, there's nothing, you just uh, have to stay indoors all year round. But that's not true. Common misconceptions pr primarily is uh, that it's restrictive for females in particular. Not true. You're not restricted in the streets, you, you can move freely. While the UAE is the most liberal of all Gulf states, it does operate in Muslim traditions. As long as you respect the rules, it doesn't affect your day-to-day -day life. There are some great parks, restaurants, theme parks to enjoy. I didn't have any negative misconceptions coming here. Uh, I've been pleasantly surprised by the feeling of the place and how easy it is to settle in. I think sort of traditionally some of the people might say, you know, level of accommodation, you know, it, it's language problems, but actually uh, there's been none of that. Um, great place. Generally people, particularly expats, they stay here anything from 5 to 10 years but I've got a number of friends who've been here 18, 20 years so I would certainly recommend it. I would definitely recommend living in the region. It's a fantastic experience and I've enjoyed all of my six and a half years. 
Yeah, I absolutely would. I think it's been great. We've had we had a few years just as a couple out here, and then we've had another few years with children. So it's it's got everything to suit everybody. Um, so it's a brilliant place, and I definitely recommend it. I can't fault living here. I'd recommend it to anyone. The UAE is the best place to live if you want to work on major projects. The Middle East is where it's happening. Bye.